Hello friends, welcome to risingpearl.com. Today we are talking about series 13 where we are learning a great deal on surface areas and volumes. This is episode number 9 and friends today we are going to talk about the strategy that we need to follow to solve questions on combination of solid figures. So in the last few episodes we have been really doing a recap for surface areas and volumes of cuboids, cubes, spheres, cones, cylinders, etc. So now we are going to talk about combination of figures, combination of solid figures. So this webisode will focus on strategy in solving combination of solids. So the first step is to try and visualize which simple solid figures such as cuboids, cubes, cylinders, cones, spheres, etc make up the given complex figure. That means we will be given a shape and say we are asked to find out the total surface area of this given complex shape. So the first step, first step is to try and visualize which simple solid figures make up the given complex figure. The second step is to find out which areas Second step is to find out which areas have to be added or subtracted to get the required area. So the second step is very important. Once we figure out that the given complex shape is made up of either combination of cuboids and cones or cones and sphere etc etc. Then the second step is we have to figure out which area should be added or subtracted to get the required area. And finally, the third step is to find the individual areas or areas of these individual simpler figures and then calculate the required area based on step two. Right? So whichever areas we need to add and or subtract. So third step is we need to find out each of the individual areas of these simple solid figures that we have learn from step one and using step two of which should be added which should be subtracted do that calculation to find out the required area this is going to be our overall strategy in solving these type of questions so one very important thing that you would want to keep in mind especially when we are talking about areas and surface areas is that when calculating area of combination of solid figure this is important. This is true only when we are focusing on calculating areas, not volumes. When calculating areas of combination of solid figure, we do not always simply add the areas of individual parts that make up the solid. Why? Because some parts of the area, they may disappear when we join the parts. So again, this is actually very, very important to keep in mind. This applies only to area question, combination of solid figures. And if we are dealing with areas, calculating areas of combination of solid figures, then this point is very important. We don't always just add the areas. Why? Because some part, some part actually disappear when we join the, the shapes together. So the parts that disappear, those areas need to be subtracted. So something to keep in mind as we look into these questions. Now I want to help you visualize. So this is a shape which is given to us. So whenever if you get a question like this, what you should be able to do is visually you should be able to see that this can be broken out like this and similarly this can be broken out like this. So essentially this shape is same as this shape. That means this shape is made up of a cylinder. So this is our cylinder. And then I have two hemispheres. So even though the complex shape here, and this is the same. So even though we have a complex looking shape, we should be able to break the shape down into one hemisphere plus a right circular cylinder plus another hemisphere. And just to reiterate the point that I was making about the area is that if you add 
total area of this plus total area of this plus total area of this will that be equal to total area of this answer is no because you have to make sure that this area which is the area of the circle and this area area of the circle similarly this area which is the area of the circle for the cylinder and this area these areas need to be subtracted in other words if I have to join these three simple solids to get this shape and if I have to find out total surface area of this solid it will be really the curved surface area of the cylinder plus the curved surface area of the hemisphere 1 and then curved surface area of hemisphere 2. We have to make sure that we take out these surfaces because when you add them these surfaces they disappear they are not there anymore. Let's take a look at one more example. So now we have something like this. So you should be immediately able to visualize that this can be thought about as like this. So idea is for you to be able to visually see that you are given one complex shape and you are able to visualize this as combination of a cylinder and a hemisphere. So let's take one final example. Say you have a shape like this. So your eye, your mind should be able to immediately see this shape as a combination of a right circular cone plus a hemisphere.